Hey Facebook, I'll wait for some of you guys to come on. Uh, today, tonight, right now, uh, I'm going to talk about Halloween and I know that um, I'm not doing this video, it's just like an impromptu video, I didn't plan on it, but I was out tonight uh, with a friend of mine for dinner and I, um, we were walking around town and all I saw were things that were dressed up in Halloween, you know, everything was Halloween, ghosts and goblins and skeletons and, and cobwebs and, I mean, things everywhere around town. And I, I was just astonished as a Christian because as a, as a Christian, we're filled with the spirit of the living God. So when we do something wrong or we're, we're practicing the customs of this world that are evil in the sight of God, the Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. The Holy Spirit immediately tells us this is evil, this is wicked, this is part of the gifts of the Spirit, this is part of discernment that we have as a, as a Christian, even if you're a brand new Christian, about occultism, about Halloween. And I know a lot of you guys out there practice Halloween. I know a lot of churches endorse it, saying there's nothing wrong with it. That it's not, you know, you're not a devil because you practice it, or you're not gonna, you don't serve Satan because you practice it. I've heard, I've heard it in churches, and so I'm doing this video tonight, and I want you to share it, please, with people. I am not a theologian. I am a vessel that is willing to be used by God to speak truth in a world of darkness, especially in the church. Okay, so this is for Christians, because if you're not a Christian, you're going to do whatever you want, whatever your beliefs are. But as a Christian, we're supposed to do things according to the Word of God, not with a religious spirit, but because the Holy Spirit lives in us. Do you know when I got saved 28 years ago, you know, I came out of a different religion. I came out of the occult. I came out of white witchcraft. When I became a Christian, even before I was a Christian, I knew something was wrong with Halloween. When I became a Christian, I, I knew why there was something wrong with Halloween, and I repented, and I turned away from it. So I don't care about all these statements. You know, one of my friends said something to me that was so profound. You know, I said, why do Christians practice Halloween? Don't they know that it's from the occult? Don't they know? We're not talking about Easter or Christmas, because... People around the world know that when Christians celebrate Christmas, it's the birth of Jesus. When, when Christians celebrate Easter, it's the resurrection of Jesus. But when Christians celebrate Halloween, it is definitely the occult. Okay? So I'm not really going to answer any of your questions here. I know that you guys are going to, I'm just waiting for you guys to come out. Please share this video because you guys know that I'm outspoken, because I want to see you guys set free and delivered, because we don't want to give Satan legal entryway into our lives. The Bible says if you bring in a cursed thing into your house, you become a curse like unto it, right? So we don't want to do anything against God and his word. In fact, when we're saved, it's not like we're under the law. It's like we want to serve the Lord. We want to do what's right. We want to obey the Lord, and we feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit when we're not and we love to keep his commandments. We love to keep God's ways. It's not burdensome to us. It's not a heavy weight that we carry. But we love to obey the Lord. So the Bible, you know, Halloween has got ghosts, goblins, skeletons, demons, dead people walking, you know, de depicted as dead people. They've got, they've got sorcery and omens and curses and trick or treat, and we all know that it came from from back in the Druids time. We know the history behind it. If you search, you'll know the history behind it. But I really want to get to the heart of the issue because we can go into all the history behind everything. But you know, the mo more I'm concerned with is the heart of Christians. Why in the world would you want to practice a, a celebration called Halloween? that depicts ghosts and goblins and, and demons and, and sorcery and witches when Jesus walked around casting demons out of people. He was casting demons out, people that were oppressed of the devil. And you guys are dressing up like demons. You're going to parties with people dressing up like demons and ghosts. Jesus came to set the captives free and you're depicting hell itself and satanic everything satanic i mean you you want to dress up 
like a witch? Or you want to be a partaker? You know, you can't share the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons, the Bible says. You want, you want to dress up like, like a ghost, like a dead person, you know, with blood all over you? This is hell you're representing, Satan's kingdom. Why would you think that God is not opposed to this? Why would you even think that God is okay with you doing this if you have the Holy Spirit? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Do you really? You may have the Christianese lingo, right? You might have, you know, the scriptures memorized. You might even be in the ministry. Hey, you might even be a pastor of a church. But how can you be in the ministry? How can, we're all Christians in the ministry. If you're a Christian, you're in the ministry. God commissioned all of us to go out and preach the gospel. Go out and preach them. Baptizing name, them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go make disciples of all nations. He said that to all of us. But how can you dress up satanic stuff as a Christian? How can you represent the kingdom of God when you're partaking with the kingdom of Satan? Uh, share this video, please. Keep sharing this video. I know it's late, but you know, I, I was walking around town and I saw, you know, the stores and the restaurants and the streets all decorated with Halloween junk, demonic stuff. You know, the, in the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 18, it says don't practice the custom of the, of the other nations. It's an abomination to God. You know, fortune telling, divination, interpreting omens, sorcery, casting spells, consulting mediums, inquiring of the dead, necromancy. Why would you want to celebrate Halloween as a Christian? Why would you take your children trick-or-treating when you know that this is what it represents, you know it. You know it in your spirit and you're in denial. You're hardening yourself to the voice of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is telling you to not, I mean, the Holy Spirit is the word of God. I mean, Jesus is the word. Why would you not want to listen to the word of God? Why would you call yourself a Christian and say, you know what? Oh, we don't see it that way. It doesn't bother us. Really? It bothers God. God says it. Deuteronomy 18, he says it. He says to avoid or abstain from all appearance of evil. Halloween depicts evil on every side. Do you think dressing up like a, a wizard or a witch or a goblin or a demon or a dead person or, uh, you know, walking dead uh, or so somebody really grotesque with their face distorted everywhere, do you think that it's okay with the Lord to depict hell itself and the demons themselves? Jesus came to set the captives free. He came to cast out demons. He came to, to loose the bands of those who are bound. He came to bring light into darkness. So why would you want to practice darkness? Why would you want to celebrate darkness for fun? Why are you entertained by evil? Why does evil make you feel, make it feel fun? There's something wrong in your spirit. I'm going to call it out because you're not ignorant. Christians are not ignorant anymore. Sorry, <laughs> I got something in my mouth. Christians are not ignorant anymore, okay? There is, God is going to hold us accountable. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. You know, Satan walks around, the Bible says, as a roaring lion. He walks about the earth seeking whom he may devour. But the Bible says, resist him steadfast in the faith. So he will devour you. He, you. You know, there are people that come out of the occult in the church. There are people that come out of drug addiction in the church, which is, which is the occult. It's sorcery, pharmacia, witchcraft. People come out of alcoholism. It's witchcraft, pharmacia. And you're going to go around dressing like a goblin and a ghost? Really? You're going to dress up like a demon? You're going to go around saying... I'm a Christian. God's okay with it. No, he's not okay with it. You know, that's like saying God's okay with getting drunk. God's okay with sleeping around. God's okay with pornography. You know, it's not, it's not all that. It's not going to really affect us all that. Really? I mean, we as human beings, we justify our sinful nature. We justify, we reason away sin. We're living in the end times. 
You know, the Bible talks about a great delusion in the end times. It's coming because people do not have a love for the truth. The Bible says that there will be a great falling away from the faith. You know, seducing people believe in seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. Halloween is a doctrine of demons. Even Anton LaVey of the Satanic Temple, he said that Halloween, he loves when Christians practice Halloween because they release all kinds of demons into the spirit realm. I mean, do, does this not bother you? And if a church is practicing Halloween, leave that church. Because you know what? That is a church that's already opened itself up to deception. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. A little bit of poison in a glass of water has poisoned the entire water. Jesus was talking about the leaven of the Pharisees, the false teaching. If there's a little bit of poison in there, the whole thing has been poisoned. And it's just a matter of time where more and more false teaching, more and more false doctrine, more false manifestations are coming in. And this is part of the end times. There'll be false signs, false wonders, false Christ, false, false prophets arising to deceive even the very elect of God, the called out of God. So I appreciate, I appreciate you guys listening. I don't care how much you justify it. I don't care because one day you're going to have to give an account. You've heard the word of God. Deuteronomy 18. Do not learn the customs of the nations. Their fortune telling or magic or sorcery and witchcraft that Halloween totally, totally depicts. Jesus came to set people free of demons and, and, and witch, witchcraft and omens. He came to set people free. Do you understand what that means? Or have you been in church so long you're asleep in the light? You don't even care that this is serious stuff. That people are demon possessed out there. That people are into the occult and witchcraft. The Antichrist spirit has been released into the nations. Does this bother you that you're going around your neighborhood? You're decorating your house for Halloween? You're putting graves in there of the dead? I mean, Jesus came to give life. And you're representing hell, Satan's kingdom? Satan's kingdom is death. Everything deadly. Everything witchcraft. And, you know, go ahead and do a Google search of what Halloween represents. I'm not here to tell you what it represents because it represents everything bad. Even All Saints Day, that was done by the Catholics. And I'm not going to get into that because you guys know what I believe about that. And so, you know, false religion, false doctrine, false teaching, and, you know, divination. This is not something that we as Christians should ever practice. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Are you filled with the Holy Spirit since you believed? Do you have the conviction of the Holy Spirit when you're practicing the occult? Does this matter to you how God feels about Halloween? Because God is the same. When he convicts me, he's going to convict you too. He has nothing, there's nothing good about the occult. Nothing. It's not just fun. It's not just fun. You don't have fun with demons. You don't have fun with sorcery. You don't have fun with witchcraft. You don't have fun, you know, just with evil. You're entertaining evil. And so I just want to share this with you guys. I hope you share this video. Uh, it's a short video, but I'm going to talk a lot about it this month. And I hope that you guys get convicted. I hope that you guys repent. And I hope that you guys uh, will listen to what I'm saying because the churches aren't teaching it. You know, the people aren't teaching it. And there's really no need to teach anything because really if you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit's going to convict you of sin. He's going to convict you when you're doing something wrong. He's going to make you repent of it, right? He's going to make you because he doesn't want you to do it. It's detestable to the Lord. And you guys are going to have to stand before God on Judgment Day. Everybody's going to have to give an account on Judgment Day. And if you don't believe in Jesus, I'm not even talking to you. It doesn't matter what you guys think because you're already lost. You're already lost. I'm talking to you professing, born-again believers. If you're not a Christian, you're going to do whatever the devil is going to want you to do. You're, going to, you're a law unto yourself, okay? You don't fear God. You don't believe in Jesus. You, don't feel the, you might believe in him up here, but you have not been transformed in here by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is coming. And you know what? It's going to get darker and darker. And you think the people that what we just uh, encountered in Nevada, 
Do you think that this guy, you think it was a demon on the loose? Absolutely. You're going to celebrate demons this month? Think about it. Do you think the guy got demon possessed? Do you think a guy in his right mind would shoot that many people with machine guns? Think again. That guy was influenced by demon spirits, probably possessed by demon spirits, because nobody in their right mind would do that. So if you guys want to play around with Halloween and the demons and everything that repre it represents, Go ahead. Do whatever it is you want to do. But you know what? You've been warned. You have been warned. There is nothing good about glorifying death. There's nothing good about vampires and Twilight movies and sucking the life of, out of somebody. The blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed was for life to forgiveness of sins. The blood of vampires was, was demonic. You know, I mean, there's nothing good about witches and brooms. Don't celebrate it. Repent. Tell others to repent. Don't have, don't decorate your house. This is not for evil. Should not be an entertainment for you. So I hope that you guys are listening to this. Go ahead and do a Google search on what Halloween represents. I'm dealing more with the heart issue. Why are you as a Christian celebrating Halloween? Why, when Jesus came to cast out demons, why are you dressing up as a demon? Why are you dressing up as a ghost? Why are you dressing up? As a witch, Jesus came to set you free and you're representing everything demonic and evil in the kingdom of Satan. And you have no problem with going to haunted houses to get the, to get the daylight scared out of you. Ask God to give you a revelation of hell. You'll get, you'll get uh, scared pretty well. You don't have to go to a haunted house and glorify and be entertained by evil. Evil is not an entertainment for Halloween, right? I pray that you guys listen. I pray that you guys hearken unto me. I don't care if it's your pastor saying it's okay. It's not okay. I don't care if it's a minister saying it. I don't care if it's your husband or wife saying it. I don't care if it's your children saying it. I don't care if it's your mother or father saying it. Jesus said you must deny, you must hate your mother, father, sister, brother, wife, husband, whatever. Take up your own cross. You must even hate your own life. Take up your own cross and follow me or else you can't be my disciple. Don't learn the things of the world. He that's a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So I pray that you guys hear me. Share this video. I'm going off now. I can't see all your comments right now. But please share this video. This is very important because people celebrate demonic things and don't even realize it. Like again, I said, when Christians celebrate Christmas, we know it's the birth of Jesus. When we celebrate Easter, we know it's the resurrection of Jesus. When Christians celebrate Halloween, we know that it's demonic. Okay? So I'm not going to get into argument with some of you guys that think it's a joke. I'm not going to get into all that. But don't celebrate Halloween. It's demonic. God bless you. Share this video. People need to hear it. I don't even care what anybody says. You want to be right with God because on Judgment Day... It's going to be you and the Lord. It's not going to be you, me, the Lord, and all the church people and your family. It's going to be you and God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that di di divided the, the Red Sea for the children of Israel, the God that delivered Daniel out of the lion's den, the, the God that opened the blind eyes and set the captives free, the God that made the lame walk and the dead rise. You're going to be standing before the God that created all the stars. You're going to be standing before an almighty, powerful God. So not only are we to fear him, but we're to respect him and to respect and honor his word. God, God honors those that honors his word. Okay, so God bless you and I'll talk to you guys soon and have a wonderful night. Hey, thanks so much for listening. I appreciate all you guys that tune in. I know I give hard words, but these are words to set you free because we don't want Satan to take advantage of us. We can't be ignorant of his devices, even in the church. And all of you guys that come out of the occult in the past or practice witchcraft in any way, that's even more serious for you guys, but it's serious for everyone. Okay, God is not a respecter of persons. When he says, don't do this, don't practice the custom of the nations and omens and, 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 and the dead and, and all this stuff, he means it for everybody, not just for me. It's for you and me and all of us, right? Okay, so uh, I'll see you again this month, and we're going to be talking some more about it. 
And uh, I hope I don't get any phone calls, okay? I don't care if you guys think that I'm religious or judgmental because um, if you don't take it seriously, then you really aren't taking Jesus seriously because Jesus died for you to set you free from demons and witchcraft and omens and curses, all the things that you guys practice on Halloween or if, if you dress up like a little princess. So what? Disney's full of witchcraft, really. I mean, Disney characters, they're all full of witchcraft. Everything's witchcraft. And you think it's okay. Oh, we're dressing up as nice, pretty people. Nice, holy people. That's all witchcraft. You're still just doing it in a different way. You have to teach people. This is the ways of divination. You have to teach people. This is the ways of the occult. You can't make something evil good. Okay? It's something unholy, holy. You have got to get rid of it. Renounce it. Repent of it. And get right with God. God bless you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Share this video.